It is not hard to get a lot of guitars. It is extremely hard to keep the guitars that matter. It's really complicated to know which guitars are the ones that should stay with you for a long time. I need to introduce you to a guitar. I need to tell you a story about a friend of mine. My friend John built this guitar. Well, he didn't build this guitar. He cut out this body and he was in the process of putting this guitar together uh, when he was diagnosed with cancer. And it was a very short time. I think it was about nine months between the time that he was diagnosed and the time that he left Earth. Leaving in his wake hundreds of projects that never got finished. That's where I come into this story. Don had a house full and a workshop full of guitars, parts, pieces. Some were done, but almost all of them were in parts and pieces. And they just needed direction and they needed values and to be sold and the relationships to move them. Now, I had bought and sold guitars just as a fun thing that I did, you know, when I was in a sales job and I didn't want to stay in a hotel, I'd go check out a guitar shop or I'd surf Craigslist and I'd find cool stuff. But this was, I mean, this is what started my shop. I had a shop called Bayou Music Exchange. And so I came to Dawn's house and I got to know her husband, John, through the hundreds of pieces of gear. And that's, it changed my life. Um, I never met John. I wish that I would have known John um, because I got to know him as I looked at the settings on the amps that I sold of his, as I looked at all of the pedals and the sheer volume of chorus and modulation pedals that this guy had. Along the way, I became dear friends with Evan Dowie, who is one of the absolute best guitar builders I still know to this day. And I've gotten to know the world's best guitar builders and Evan is right up there with them. His intuition for how he builds guitars. Now, Evan builds guitars in New Orleans. He's not doing as much anymore. I've asked him, you know, he's doing a little bit here and there, but he is just so incredibly talented. This guitar was in parts and pieces when we got it. It was just an ash body. And Evan, I asked him if he would put a finish on this guitar and help me put some guitars together so that we could sell them because we found that completed guitars sold better than parts and pieces. This guitar was completed right around the time that I really wanted YouTube to be my job. And then COVID happened. And this guitar was one of the unfortunate guitars that had to be sold during that time. I was hard up for money. I was not making enough from YouTube ad revenue or sponsors or brand deals. And I have a family and I have a mortgage and there's a very big boulder chasing me every month. So this guitar, this transparent white ash body, ebony board, a veneer board, a big chunky neck, uh, hand wound pickups by Evan. This guitar had to find a new home and it went to my friend Elliot who owns Wonder Records here in town and it was sold and I knew at the time that it was really sad because this guitar is remarkably good and uh, I just knew that if I got rid of it I would probably never see it again and I my spidey sense was going off and I didn't do anything about it. I had no choice. It was that or don't have groceries. So this guitar went away and about a week ago, uh, Elliot let me know, hey, that guitar you, you sold me is back. I'm gonna fix this thing up. I'm gonna restring it, I'm gonna set it up, and then I'm gonna do some, there, there are some videos coming up with this, but this Strat is, it's a testament to a friend um, that I never got to know. And I understand that's a weird thing and maybe I'm probably a little too sentimental here, but this is my Mary Kay that's not a Mary Kay that is the coolest guitar made by a culmination of friends that never knew each other at the same time. And um, hmm. tell me in the comments below if you have a guitar like this. Um, yeah, they can, man, guitars are transcendent. They connect you to, to generations before you and after you, and they give you a deep sense of meaning and purpose, and they help you bubble up the thing that you're made to do. You're made to make. Make guitars, make music, make friends. You are made to make and you're made to play and to enjoy this world. So, <laughs> here it is. I'm playing through a Tyler Amps JT22. It's on like noon. So like right in the middle, shouldn't be breaking up. Should be pretty spanky and pretty clean.
this video. I'm Jeremy. This is John Prendergast Guitar. And uh, I hope you go out and you become a keeper of the light. Someone who brings light and life and joy to wherever you are. So go fill the world with music and friendship. That's what guitar hunters do. That's what this channel is about. This is a prime example of that. And I'm so glad I own this guitar. Thanks for watching these videos and the patrons that support month over month. Uh, that is how that uh, this channel keeps happening. Thanks for watching. See you later.